the concept of artificial intelligence began with the early philosophers who pondered the mechanics of thought, leading to the first steps in AI during the mid-20th century. Then, between 1957 to 1974, AI boomed with faster computers, leading to modern neural networks. As AI evolved, it transitioned from simple machine learning to more complex systems, capable of not just learning but adapting. The concept of the AI singularity emerged from this evolution, a point where AI's cognitive abilities would surpass human intelligence. While the predictions for when the singularity will occur vary, you shouldn't mistake this notion for just about a machine being smarter than a human. It's rather about a transformative moment that could redefine the very fabric of our existence. This is why while AI singularity symbolizes a pivotal moment in history, also raises profound questions about our role in a world where machines can outthink us. What happens when the creations surpass the creators? The AI singularity is a journey that began with the first imaginings of artificial minds, but very well might lead us into a future beyond our current understanding. AI Development Hierarchy now to truly grasp what might unfold when AI reaches the singularity, it's essential first to understand the stages of AI development. Why? Because one cannot predict the future of a growing child without knowing the stages of their development. Similar to this analogy, each stage of AI brings us closer to that pivotal moment of singularity, shaping the possibilities and implications of what lies beyond. Here are the levels of AI and their developments, focusing on what each level represents, the achievements to date, and the implications for the future. Number 1. Reactive Machines Reactive machines, the most basic AI form, operate without past memory or future anticipation. IBM's Deep Blue, which defeated chess grandmaster Garry Kasparov in 1997, exemplifies this. These machines analyze possible outcomes from the current situation, making decisions based on predefined algorithms. They lack the ability to learn or adapt from past experiences, focusing solely on present tasks. Deep Blue, for instance, evaluated 200 million positions per second in chess, using brute force computation rather than strategic learning. Number 2. Limited Memory Machines Next up are the limited memory machines that represent an advancement in AI, capable of using recent experiences for short-term decision-making. A key example is autonomous vehicles, which utilize immediate data like speed and distance of surrounding objects for navigation. These machines temporarily store and process this data, improving their responses in real time. However, their memory is transient and not used for long-term learning or experience building. Self-driving cars use this level of AI. Their sensors to collect data in milliseconds, which is crucial for immediate decisions but not retained for future use. Number 3. Artificial Narrow Intelligence ANI. Here's where things start to get interesting. Artificial Narrow Intelligence ANI, also known as Weak AI is the point in this journey where we currently stand ANI excels in one particular area, performing specific tasks with expertise often surpassing human capability. ANI systems are prevalent in our daily lives, from language translation services like Google Translate to personalized recommendations on streaming services like Netflix. ANI does not possess consciousness, understanding, or self-awareness. However, AI represents the most advanced and widely implemented form of AI, driving innovations in various industries, including healthcare, finance, and entertainment. Number 4. Theory of Mind AI Theory of Mind AI, a future concept, aims to understand and potentially replicate human emotions and mental states. This level of AI would interact more effectively with humans by interpreting emotional responses and adapting their behavior accordingly. While still theoretical, it represents a significant leap towards empathetic AI. This AI would not only recognize speech patterns but also the emotional context behind them, enhancing human-AI interaction. However, actualizing this level of AI requires advancements in understanding human psychology and neurology. Number 5. Artificial General Intelligence AGI. 
At number 5, Artificial General Intelligence AGI, will match human cognitive abilities, enabling it to perform any intellectual task that a human can. AGI remains a goal rather than a reality, with predictions for its emergence ranging from a few decades to a century. Unlike AI, AGI can apply intelligence flexibly across various domains. For instance, an AGI could learn a language, solve complex mathematical problems, and compose music, all with human-like proficiency. Number 6. Artificial Superintelligence ASI. As humans dive deeper into AI, they will encounter artificial superintelligence ASI, that will surpass their intelligence across all fields, including creativity, general wisdom, and problem-solving. ASI is hypothesized to be capable of self-improvement, potentially leading to rapid advancements beyond human control. This level of AI could innovate in areas like science and engineering at unprecedented speeds. For example, ASI could theoretically solve complex global issues like climate change or disease eradication swiftly. One might think this is the apex. But it's certainly not the case for there is still waiting to take the crown. Number 7. The Singularity Singularity is the theoretical point where AI undergoes exponential growth, leading to unpredictable societal changes. This era would witness AI advancing autonomously, potentially redesigning itself at an incomprehensible pace. Predictions and Timelines Predictions about when this monumental event will occur vary, but they all agree on one thing, it's not a matter of if, but when. Historically, most AI researchers and scientists have pointed towards a time frame around 2050 for the singularity. However, this is not a fixed date set in stone. The advancements in AI are happening at an unprecedented pace, and this date could move closer or further away depending on various factors. Ray Kurzweil, a well-known futurist and author, has been vocal about his predictions regarding the singularity. He believes that by 2045, AI will have reached a level of development that will fundamentally reshape human society and culture. But Kurzweil's predictions go beyond just a date. He envisions a world where the line between humans and machines blurs. Brain-computer interfaces, virtual reality, and other technologies will merge with AI creating a new kind of existence. It's a world where our physical limitations are overcome by the power of technology, where our brains can connect directly to the cloud, and where we can experience virtual realities indistinguishable from the real world. Now, let's talk about Elon Musk, another influential figure in the tech world. Musk has a slightly different view. He once mentioned that the singularity could happen in as little as five years. This statement, made in a live Twitter conversation, suggests a much closer timeline than most experts predict. It's a thought that might send shivers down your spine. But it's not just about predictions. The implications of the singularity are vast and complex. First off, the world as we know it could change big time. We're talking about AI solving problems that have stumped us for ages. Imagine diseases we can't cure today becoming a thing of the past, or AI finding ways to stop climate change in its tracks. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. With great power comes great, well, you know. These super smart AIs could start doing things on their own, making decisions that affect us all. And here's the kicker, we might not even understand how they're doing it. Exciting, but kind of scary, right? Now, let's talk about the big E ethics. This is where things get really tricky. Who's to say what's right or wrong when you've got a machine smarter than any human making choices? We need to think about stuff like privacy, imagine an AI that knows everything about everyone. And control, that's a huge one. How do we make sure these super AIs don't go rogue? It's not like we can just unplug them if they start getting ideas. We're talking about a level of intelligence that could outsmart any safeguard we put in place. So, what do we do? We can't just stick our heads in the sand and hope for the best. We need to start planning, like, yesterday. We need the smartest minds in the world working on this, setting up rules, and making sure we stay in charge. 
It's a bit like training a really powerful dog, you wanted to help and protect you, not run wild and turn the house upside down. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. See you next time.